Hi guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, today we are gonna talk about hair extension hair products, what I do, hair color, the work. So without further ado, let's jump right in. let me go ahead and say that if you're already subscribed to my channel I just want to say thank you so very much and if you are not yet subscribed and these videos are of interest be sure to hit the subscribe button all right so I have done videos in the past about hair color hair products so this is going to be about sort of what's changed and um, how I what products I've changed my hair colors changed a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and list that as well and then how I go ahead and take out my extensions and how they're put back in. So let's jump in. I think we'll go ahead and start with um, my extensions. Yes, I have extensions. So I'm gonna split screen and I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and remove the extensions. It's pretty easy. I do use um, a kind of like a glue remover, if you will, designed specifically for taped in hair extensions. Um, this is on my Amazon page. And you just spray it in. Um, the way the extensions work is there is an extension, your hair goes in the middle, and then there's another extension. And so it sandwiches in between your hair. And you start at the very top of the scalp. I've done a video on how you put hair extensions in. Um, I've so you could see that if you'd like and i will list that here um so to take them out very simple you take them out you peel the sticky part off and you put tape back on it's really that simple so usually what i do is be when i'm getting ready to go see my hairdresser and it's been about eight weeks um i go anywhere from six to eight weeks i try and obviously push it to the eight week mark and once it's been about that time a few days before i'll start removing them you know a little here a little there and honestly i could remove half the extensions that i have in my head and you wouldn't know the difference um i have a lot i have approximately uh, I would say 40 extensions. Um, I do have some that are full extensions and then I have some that we cut in half. Too hard to tell. So I could show you right here. Some are halves and some are holes, if you will. And I just think that the um, halves work so good around the temples um, and then to fill in any spots. It's just, they look so much more. What, the next thing that I'm gonna do is show you, I'm gonna take the tape off because you have to retape it. So this is kind of a pen. <laughs> Another one of my least favorite things. You just peel it off and I'll show you. And it just comes off like this. There you go. So it just pulls right off of here. And then like I say, a little dampened uh, sponge collects. So here's the tape. And then we just take it and peel it off. see there and it just peels off I just take a little piece of it you want to make sure you brush through your extension so there's no kind of stray hairs at the top and then you want to make sure you're taping the correct side and you just line it up and it's that simple you just squeeze it on there if it overhangs a tiny bit because it's hard to get the extensions perfectly straight sometimes I just take a little pair of scissors and just nip the little end and there you go so I'm going to do the other one because we want to keep and again I'm just going to line them up and now I have two taped in extensions ready to go so I keep them together and I'll put them over here so I have the taped these have already the tapes already been pulled off I just have to retape them so that's the process of getting them out okay so once my extensions are removed I wash my hair very very well the shampoo and conditioner that I use currently is by formulate this is an excellent shampoo and conditioner I have put this through the test I've washed it with my own hair I've washed it with my extensions what I like about it is it really cleans the hair without stripping the hair and then the conditioner really gets in there because there will be residual glue from the tape in your hair 
it's gonna be there. So I'll take like a little rat tail comb and kind of comb through it. Once you have your hair all washed and clean, I head to the hairdresser and I'll show you here. Okay, so guys, I'm showing you. This is my length of my hair. It's really fluffy right now because I just took out the extensions. Um, here's some of them. <laughs> so I have to retape them. And I showed you how to do that, but I just wanted to show you this is the before and you can see in the back it goes to about there and the front goes to about here okay so i'll show you what it looks like when i get the extensions put in All right so Brittany is doing the face yay no more gray we do this all the time but now we're doing it without the extensions so you can see how short my hair is and then i will show you once she washes it and dries it how short it is and then we'll put the extensions in i'll show you, show you how she does that i imagine it is so is Paul not doing any of that anymore? No, oh, yeah. okay. 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 Just focusing on However, you need to... The extensions that I use are by um, Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. These are Auburn number 33, 18 inch. However, I have cut them, we've cut them approximately two inches because over time as you wear your extensions, the dead ends sort of become dead ends, uh, just like your real hair because there's no natural oil. So we did cut them off, um, the extensions off. My hair's grown longer, the extensions shortened up, so it just looks so very natural. Let me go ahead and turn around here so that you can see um you can see it just looks and blends beautifully so uh Brittany always does um a fantastic job so she starts at the nap of the neck and works her way up and then we do the sides and while it is straight and i'll show you some pictures here of it um straight while it's straight we go ahead and that's when we'll fine tune it and fill in any little areas that we think might need it and then that's when we'll also trim as well so that we get a really nice blended look because that's what you want you don't want people knowing you have extensions um the extensions are great they are 100 percent human hair so we have colored them we have toned them which a toner is just a really um strong conditioner that you have a little bit of color in and i probably do that at once a month um, I did it today. We did not do it to the extensions because obviously the extensions were not in my hair, but we really wanted to make sure my hair is healthy. So we gave it a good trim, gave it a good wash, gave it a good conditioner, colored those roots. And then we started with a nice canvas. So then once that's done, how do I take care of the hair extensions? The products that I use really, besides the shampoo and conditioner, um, it, I curl my hair or flat iron my hair. You must use a heat protectant because the extensions will fade with heat. So I use the Paul Mitchell heat um, hot off the press. Um, I love this one. This one's almost empty. Um, the other thing that I use is I do use a little bit of hairspray occasionally, um, especially um, if I'm starting to get flyaways. Right now I use the Kenra, but I just showed my empties video and I'm hooked on the OUAI um, hairspray and I just uh, am waiting for that to come in. But either one of those are excellent hairsprays. I don't put a whole lot of product in my hair. When we wash and uh, condition my hair the only product that I do put in is a little bit of the super skinny by Paul Mitchell so we do use that I use it at home and Brittany uses it at the hair salon as well and then when my hair gets dirty my favorite um, 
dry shampoo is not your mother's um, Beach Babe texturizing dry shampoo. This is by far my favorite. I have tried others and I'm just not a fan. In fact, I'm currently in the process of trying um, the Purology Refresh and Go Dry Shampoo. Don't like this as much. And the Living Proof. Definitely don't like this. This puts just this big white cast over your hair. I don't like that at all. Uh, this is really just, I mean, look, I just have my hair done and I will put it in here just to smell it because it smells so flipping good. I, I, just, I love the smell of this stuff. So that's how I take care of it. Now in between, um, I've mentioned this a million times, um, if I'm, you know, I try and go four weeks. Yes, I have to get my hair done four weeks. So on week three, my gray, grays are already showing. So I'll use the L'Oreal Root Touch Up in red to help maintain that, um, you know, to, to fill in the roots until I get to the hairdresser. So guys, that is it. You guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Friday. Have a great week guys. Bye.